Good morning, everyone. My name is Leda Mkavela. I'm 25 years old. I'm one of the black members uh, which were operating in Baluli, which is in Kruger National Park and 56,000 hectares. So the black members are all about 32 ladies who are operating in Baluli. The logo that you see there is Transfrontier Africa, which is the um, which is the reaction of mon which is people who are monitoring the rhinos that has been started by Craig Spencer, the founder of the Black Mambas. And the logo that you're seeing next is, Bal is the logo of Baluli Private Nature Reserve, where I'm coming from. And um, Kruger National Park uh, Environmental Affairs are the ones who are paying for our salaries. Why the concern? We don't want to see our rhinos or our wildlife inside a cage. We want to see them being wild and enjoy the way they are supposed to be in their natural way inside the reserve. I'm sorry to show you this picture. This is what we face every day when we are doing our morning and night patrol. People are killing the rhinos in a greedy way. This is how we see it and it is very much painful to us. That's why we put our boots in the ground to make sure that it doesn't continue. Uh, who uses the rhino horns? The rhino horns are going to China, to Yemen, and to Vietnam. And they are using it for um, necklace and jewelries and also for medicine, which I don't think it's working for them because it's not true. When you are sick, you have to go to the doctors not to use the rhino horn. Who are the black members? Uh, the logo that you are seeing there, it's uh, the logo of the black members, which uh, it got a South African flag and a black rhino in the middle, because the black rhino is, uh, is the one that very, gets very much aggressive than the white rhino. So the two snakes that you are seeing, the other one is facing uh, east, the other one is facing west. That's where the poachers come in the east and get out of the west. So that's where the black members strike. And, uh, who are the black mambas? The black mambas are 33, uh, 32 young women who have energy, who are positive, who have pride, and they know what they want to do. We don't go in the bush just like uh, ladies because we are unarmed, but we know what we are doing, that we have to speak for the animals. We have to fight for them because they cannot fight for themselves. So we see it as a purpose of the black mambas to do it for the animals. Uh, the objection. We are the early detection. We are the eyes and ears of the reserve. The black members are the people who wake up in the morning and do our patrol early about 6 o'clock when it's summer or 7 o'clock when it's winter. The reason for us to do that is that we want to make sure that if the poachers came inside our reserve at night, early in the morning we can track them. We can still see uh, their tracks. By, the, by doing the fence line, we make sure that there is no uh, damage of cutting the fence or the digging of down under the fence line, then they come inside. And then we will have another team that will be sweeping in, in the bush to make sure that if those who are in the fence line can come up, uh, uh, can come uh, pick up the tracks. Those one who are in, in the bush sweeping, they can also see if it's the same tracks. Then we will know that the poachers are still inside or outside of our reserve. So um, we. We did uh, the hard training when we started, and our training took about three months, which we were staying in the bush for 12 days. Uh, that was a survival training where you have no water, you only have pots to cook, and you have to make sure that after cooking, there is no ashes that is there. Anybody who will come will never notice that you were there. So it was the hard training that we went through to be professional, but all, uh, all the training did to us was to gain us knowledge on what to do. Since we started in 2013, Till today, no black member has been killed by a poacher or no black member has been hurt by animals. Through the training that we get, it made us strong. And mostly, um, every time through the year, we attend uh, some trainings to make sure that we still know what we are doing. Community benefits. What the black members are doing, we go to the community and talk with them. Through education, we think that's where people are going to know that we have to conserve nature. So we go to the community and teach the old ones, the young ones, that we don't kill nature. We, pr we, we have to conserve it. And we also do a boys school project where we have uh, 10 schools in Palabura that we are teaching and also so 980 something kids that we are teaching. We want to grow the young minds to, to have knowledge that we don't kill the, the animals. And those are our next generation. So we think by doing this, it's going to decrease uh, rhino poaching. 
10 rural schools that we are having. When we go to the community, we do um, global match. That's where we, we do global match for um, elephants and rhinos. We go to school and collect the kids that we, we are teaching and sing all the roads from community, about five kilometer to six kilometer that we go around singing. So what makes us happy is that we have seen so many youth joining us and we have seen so many old people uh, joining us saying that it, we love what, we, what you guys are doing. If we were in your age, we would join you and fight together this war to stop rhino poaching. We are role models. The black members are role models to the whole world. When we go to the other side of the community or when we go to outside South Africa, lots of people recognize us because of the hard work that we are doing. Lots of people love what we are doing because we are, we are unarmed ladies and we are facing giant men in the bush who come through with big weapons, want to kill the animals. So what we are doing, we put our boots in the ground to show them that they mustn't kill the animals. They should conserve nature. We have pride and self-worth. We are women who know what we want in life. We know what's our story. We have dignity and we know that uh, the animals are our heritage. We have to protect them. We are the champion of the earth. We've been recognized in um, in the UK in 2015. That's where we get the trophy of the champion of the earth because of the good job that they have seen that we are doing. That every day we put our life in risk protecting the wildlife. We cherish life, we don't wanna live in the community where there are orphans, so we do. So the reason we don't carry guns when we go on our patrol is that we don't want to kill anybody. We think we can win this without using bullets. We think using bullets and guns is going to make a us, the black members and the community not to love each other. When we go to the communities, we tell them that they mustn't uh, kill the animals. So for, like myself, I'm from the community. I don't want to go back home there and find that there are young kids who are pointing fingers on me saying that you are one of the people who killed my father or you are one of the people who kills my uncle. I don't want to go there and find widows. I want to go there and find the happy community that when they see me, they see the role model and they see the person who protects the nature that we all benefit from. We do not want to see the animals uh, being killed. The baby there, it's my little girl. I named her Masingita, which means miracle in English. So she, um, her mother was killed uh, by the poachers and then she was running around uh, for five days without eating, without drinking water until we rescue her. And then she was taken to the Rhino Revolution where I was helping. We were feeding them, we were, um, they were in a rehab, like, they are like us people, they can feel a pain. I remember the same day when she arrived there, she used to hit her head with a wall because of the pain that she had seen losing her mother. So what we did, we, we, we were taking care of them, uh, feeding them formula from 6 a, um, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 a, at midnight. That's what we were doing to make them grow. Now she's about two to three years, and uh, she's now back to the, to the reserve so that she can be wild again because I believe that rhinos need to stay in the bush where they can be wild and express the way they are. We have pride, we have dignity, we are one big family, we are mothers. The black mamas are mothers. The thing that uh, we are taking care of animals is the love that we are also sharing with our kids. So our kids are sharing love with, uh, with the animals. We have pride in what we are doing and we have identity because we have been trained. We know what we are doing when we go to the the bush. We know how to react when we come across animals and we know how to react when we come across poachers. The picture that you are seeing there was put, uh, I think it was afternoon when we reported that we saw tracks and then uh, our team went and put uh, the cameras there because we need to use cameras to help us see what the poachers are doing at night. So luckily by the same day that picture was, uh, that camera was put there, the poachers came in and the camera took the picture immediately. The second picture, the poachers were running away because they have realized that now we are being attacked and then they were out of the reserve, which is very much easy for us. We've got cameras that are helping us. Uh, if we didn't have cameras, I think they would have went inside and killed the rhinos. How do we do this? What we are doing is that when we wake up in the morning, we prepare ourselves. We make sure that we have all the instruments that we need to use in the bush so that we can uh, stop the rhino poaching. 
We don't want to go there without an instruments that is needing. Daily food patrol boundaries. We walk about 20 to 21 kilometers per day in the morning to make sure that all the Baluli reserves are covered. The Black Mambas have five outposts, which we've got the one in north, we've got two in north, one in, in west, and two in south. So we make sure that all of the Baluli boundaries are covered so that we know that we don't have poachers who are giving us problem inside. We used to remove about eight fresh snares per day, followed by um, by the tracks of poachers. Because when we started, that place was having lots of nests and lots of poachers used to go and play there. Uh, vehicle patrol at night. We also work at night patrol, but we don't work. We are using vehicles and also sports light. We are shining to show that we are here. The poachers must know that we're not sleeping. We are busy doing our job. Regular roadblock. What we are doing is that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we do roadblocks bl inside the reserve. Uh, that's where we, we close the road, especially we do it in the gate or in a place where we see that lots of cars are passing by so that uh, we can search every car that is coming in and out of the reserve to make sure that nobody is going out with rhino horns or illegal things that are supposed to be inside the reserve or nobody is coming in with illegal weapons or something that is not good for, for the animals inside the reserve. So through that that's how we we manage to decrease to decrease uh, the rhino poaching the picture you are seeing there it was uh, 2017 where we arrested three women inside um, Baluli private nature reserve they went and stayed there for a week putting snares and killing animals when it started I thought it's only men who do poaching who do poaching but after this I realized that even women got guts to do so so they used to put snares and keep the uh, and kill the animals and send it home. And then when we catch them, we ask them why they're doing that. Uh, they say they don't have IDs, they've got kids to, to feed. So that's why Craig came up with this idea that he has to extend the members with 10 members from, uh, the, from the tribal land, which is nearby, because the woman was from, so that it can, uh, they can see that if, you, if the mother is not working, at least the, the, the kids are working, then they can provide for the whole family. Uh, what is black mambas? Black mambas means uh, be more, and uh, uh, I mean uh, best mother, and also the be more thing is that you have to come up with crazy ideas, lots of ideas that we can use in the bush to prevent this rhino poaching. Thank you so much for your support and for listening to the story that I was telling.